Hi, my name is Dr. John Diard, and I want to talk to you today about what I like to call the future of medicine. Imagine going to the doctor for a particular health concern, a doctor hands you a strain of very specific microbes that support that health concern. Instead of getting an antibiotic to kill the bad bugs, you get a dose of the good bugs that you might be missing. This could very well be the future of medicine in this country. Now, 10 years ago or so, doctors figured out a way to map the genome of the human body, map the genes, and found out incredible things about genetic predispositions. They also were able to recently map the genome of the microbes in the body, and they found out something amazing, that we are 90% of our cells are microbial bugs, and only 10% are human. The DNA in our body, 8 million DNA exists in the body that are microbial, only 22,000 are human. So we are completely outnumbered. We live, think, eat, and breathe to support probably the 90%. And the 90%, which are all bugs, probably support us as an afterthought. It's an incredible new arena of research that's happening. So imagine you go to the doctor, you have a blood sugar issue. The doctor gives you a, 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 an extract of a fungus called Aspergillus uh, niger. And Aspergillus is a fungus they make sake and rice wine vinegar out of in Japan. And that fungus makes an enzyme called transglucosidase that actually breaks down sugars, starches, into specific sugars that the other microbes love to eat. If you didn't have that strain of bugs in your gut, then those sugars would end up in your bloodstream and possibly predispose you to blood sugar issues. So the doctors may in the future may give you a bottle of aspergillus to take care of your blood sugar issues. For years, doctors couldn't figure out why in the West we had blood den uh, bone density issues here in the West, and in the East, in Asia, and China, there are really no issues with regard to bone density. Now they found out there's a bacteria, a microbe called Lactobacillus ruteri, which is specifically designed to support bone health. So maybe it's a lack of that one bacteria that actually is going to support the bone health in our body. This is the future of medicine, is to realize that we have created a major antimicrobial assault to kill all the bugs that we can find, get rid of the bad bugs, as without actually taking care of the good bugs. The, bug, the, the, the people in Europe and Asia have a much larger, diverse set of microbes in their body, and we, because of our sterile antibiotic environment, have stripped our bugs down to a very few and strains, and there's always 10,000 different strains in the body. So you want to start thinking about ways that you can build up the diversity of your microbes. Now probiotics are great, they have great benefit, but generally speaking, probiotics, when you take them, they go right through you. When they, when, as they're transiting your intestinal tract, they work great. But very few of them actually stay intact as they pass through the digestive acid and through the bile and very few of them actually absorb to the intestinal wall. And there's a couple of them that I think are important to know about. One is called Bifidobacterium lactis, and it's HN019. You want to look at that on the label of your probiotics. And this is one that actually has been shown to weather the digestive storm in your stomach and gallbladder and actually attach to the intestinal wall. Lactobilis plantarum comes from fermented vegetables, also another bacteria that you can find in a probiotic that will actually weather the digestive storm, get into the intestinal tract and adhere to the intestinal wall. So when you're beginning to build back a, a, a diverse flora, you want to feed your intestinal tract with bugs, microbes, probiotics, that will actually attach and colonize and develop a good, healthy, diverse flora in your intestinal tract. If you go to my website at livespa.com and read about our, our, our product called Flora Restore, there's a list of all the research done on these particular probiotics that actually do attach to the intestinal wall. Very important that you know what type of probiotics you're taking so you're getting you know, the biggest bang for your buck and deliver the best, most diverse microbial environment that you can get. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard.